Erev Tov, Chavarim, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. Very interesting news coming out of Israel today. Prime Minister Netanyahu working on a pilot program where both Arab and Jewish MK members are supposed to ascend the Temple Mount for an experiment to see whether or not uh, they can actually ascend the Temple Mount in somewhat of a peaceful, cordial situation under the new p uh, police security measures that they're doing now. Well, uh, MK member Yehuda Glick has come out and says, I won't be Netanyahu's guinea pig. And I have to tell you, friends, after reading the article here that was on the JewishPress.com, I have to stand with uh, MK member Yehuda Glick in regards to this latest statement that he says about Prime Minister Netanyahu, because as he has made his stand continually, uh, that is that the Jewish people, as well as all people, should have a right to go upon the Temple Mount, ascend the Temple Mount, and pray to the God of Israel. And so I really do appreciate his stand on that, especially in light of Prime Minister Netanyahu and Yehuda Glick both being from the Likud party, the same party. It takes a little bit of guts to make that kind of a stand against the prime minister uh, and showing that, in fact, yes, it is being done as a, a, basically a half-hearted gesture only to say, well, we tried, but it failed and it's not going to work and try to keep uh, MK members from ever being allowed to send the Temple Mount. Now, one of the comments that were made by MK Yudiklik, it was very interesting. Let me read this to you. responded, uh, acerbically to Netanyahu's gesture, suggesting it was a hoax. The PM is staging ahead of his government's response to the petition he filed with the High Court of Justice against the ban. The Prime Minister should tell the High Court, uh, should tell the High Court by September 15th why he does not allow MKs to go up to the Temple Mount, Glick said, adding he creates this attempt so he can come to the court on September 15th with clean hands and say, I tried and it did not work. This is a decision, he goes on to say, I find difficult to justify using logic or contemplation unless its purpose is forges reasons to continue and forbid Knesset members from going to the Temple Mount supposedly to maintain the public order, said Glick. I very much again, I stand with Rabbi Glick in this uh, latest stance that he has against his own uh, party member and head of uh, Israel's nation right now, Prime Minister Netanyahu, and certainly does appear to be a ploy to keep the MK members, the Jewish MK members especially, from ascending the Temple Mount. Uh, in other news as well, very serious uh, news that has come out. It's actually appeared three days ago. I just caught it this morning. My wife shared this with me today from Zero Hedge, they wrote about this today, Congress quietly passed a bill allowing warrantless searches of homes. Only 1% of the Congress opposed it. Uh, now, according to the article here that was written by Tyler Durden, it says here, and he's actually, actually it's from, uh, by Rachel Blevins of the Free Thought Project, that's the article I saw originally myself, a bill that will allow homes to be searched without warrant, passed with overwhelming support by the United States Congress and signed into law by President Trump. And it happened with no media coverage and very little fanfare. On the surface, the House Joint Resolution 76 looks harmless. Uh, the title of the bill claims that it is purpose is granting uh, consent and approval of Congress for Commonwealth of Virginia, the state of Maryland, and the District of Columbia to enter into a compact relating to the establishments of the Washington uh, Metro Rail Safety Commission. Whereas the Washington Metropolitan Area Transit Authority and Interstate Compact Agency of the District of Columbia, uh, the Commonwealth of Virginia and State of Maryland provides transport services to millions of people each year, and the safety of whom is paramount, whereas the effect and safe Washington Metropolitan Area Transit Authority system is essential to the commerce and prosperity of the national capital region, whereas the Tri-State Sovereign uh, uh, Oversight Committee created by Memorandum of Understanding amongst the three ju jurisdictions as provided safety oversight in Washington Metropolitan Area Transit Authority. Now that's what the bill states in here. But this is what uh, the author here goes on. Uh, Rachel Blevins actually writes here, the proposal for safety commission to act as a wing of the Washington Metropolitan Area Transit Authority may sound logical when its power includes things such as ability to adopt, revise, and distribute 
a written safe, state safety oversight program and to review, approve, oversee, and enforce the adoption and implementation of WMATA's Public Transportation Agency Safety Plan. However, there is one major red flag buried within the text of the bill that stems from the list of powers given the Washington Metro Rail Safety Commission, and it violates one of the basic tenets of U.S. Constitution, and this is what it states. In performing its duties, the commission, through its broad or designated employees or agents, may enter upon WMATA rail system and upon reasonable notice and a finding by the chief executive officer that a need exists upon any lands, waters, and premises adjacent to the WMATA railway system, including without limitation, notice that, without limitation, property owned or occupied by the federal government for the purpose of making inspections, investigations, examinations, and testing of the commissions may deem necessary to carry out the purpose of this MSC compact, such entry shall not be deemed a trespass. What do you know? That's a search and see. Just, that's just a little beginning phase there. You know, it's not, it's not the all outright across the United States fully strips you of your rights as of yet, but it's a start. What will they do next? Just keep that in mind, friends. As, as I said, it was overwhelmingly passed, and of course, the way it appears to be, you can see why. Nobody think nothing of it. President Trump just signed it like it was no big deal, but it's the beginning of removing your rights. Search and seizure without any warrant needed. Going on into other news as well, here in Venezuela, RT is reporting that the Venezuelan government is starting massive military drills in their country uh, amidst fears of the United States uh, plan, President Trump's plan, of a threat of military intervention in the country. It says here, Venezuela launches war games in response to Trump's threats, according to RT News right here, and according to the article in here, some 900,000 thousand people will be involved in these drills. According to the article here, Venezuela has begun massive war games to show Donald Trump that it is capable of defending itself against U.S. aggression. The drills will involve 200,000 troops and civilians of volunteers. The military said the number of participants in the exercise starting Saturday will exceed 900,000 people. Looks like the people of Venezuela are taking very serious the threats. Uh, that, are, that are being presented by President uh, Trump as a possibility to interfere or to bring in military uh, action against the Venezuelan government to try to bring it under what the U.S. believes to be their control, to kind of deal with the situation, seeing as the U.S. is against the current government to begin with and has been trying diligently to overthrow this government with the CIA and CIA-backed operations there with the, with the opposition uh, leaders that are inside the country there. Also, in other news as well, in an uh, uh, article here from dongae.com, they're reporting that North Korea had actually uh, were, was test firing three uh, short range ballistic missiles launching near the uh, colony of Gangwang province. This article came out today on the 26th of August, 2017, and uh, they were speaking about how that North Korea has been. Uh, doing these tests and the different missiles they've been testing, but once again, they had uh, test launched three uh, small uh, missiles towards the Sea of Japan. As we were reporting yesterday, some of the reports that were coming out about this, and from what we can see right now, according to the article that came out today on the, uh, on the news here with uh, Dong, uh, dongae.com, that this indeed was three small missiles that were test fired towards uh, the Sea of Japan. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. We'll be giving you more updates tomorrow. Shalom and good evening.